Okay, we're gonna check it out. Here we have the Hawker Hurricane, 750 millimeters, that's 30 inches. Um, plug and fly with the ORX flight stabilizer. Pretty awesome. You guys probably saw my other review um, on the other one of these babies. So I'm pretty excited about this. These little H King airplanes fly amazing. Um, yeah, so wingspan 30 inches, length 24 and a half inches, 430 grams. There's a 20 amp brushless ESC, 9 gram servos, uh, takes a LiPo 800 milliamps uh, 3 cell. So flight time says about 5 minutes. We'll find out. Let's see what's going on inside the box. Okay, here's how it comes packaged. Just like the other one. I did cut the tape so I can get it out without you guys watching me struggle. Inside the package here we have the horizontal and uh, elevator. Back in here, I didn't cut all the tape, but apparently I should have. We have the rudder and vertical. And then down in the bottom here we have the fuse and here's a box with a bunch of other cool bits. That's glued on pretty good, so I don't have to pull them out. So here we got some little drop tanks. What do we got here? Here will be your landing gear. So they'll just kind of pop in kind of like the other one did. Very cool. So that's all that's in there. So now, cut some tape and uh, get this thing out of the box. There we go. This front one you're just going to have to pull in half. And we'll take her out. What a cool little plane. Look at that. That propeller, just the shape of the blades. Look at that thing. I don't know how they could do it. These things are usually around a hundred bucks, something like that. Here you can see the little flight stabilizers there in the bottom. Those things work good. I cannot believe. I wish you could just buy that because they fly so good. So good. Alright. Let's get this out, see what it looks like. Another thing I love about these, other than being affordable, is they build in like no time flat. The other one literally took longer for me to explain what you get than it does to actually build it. So always free up your foam surfaces. Control horn's already installed. It's got elevator joiner in there. Awesome. Check out that rudder. Always work them hinges, make them free. Very nice. Like again, control horns installed. Gotta love that. Here's the landing gears. Very nice. Here's the drop tank things. If they glue on, which it looks like they probably do, I leave them off typically because if you're going to fly it without gear, you don't want those to hook on the ground. But if you're just going to fly it with landing gear, by all means, go ahead and let it rip. Get this wing out and have a look at that. Yeah, looks nice. There's the wing. Everything is installed and done. Little servos are in there. Awesome. Great. And then you just got your accessory pack. Got some screws, some scale bits, some Velcro. All right, cool. Well, let's get on to the build. All right, so the first step in the manual it says to put the landing gear in here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a minute. But it says to put the wing on. So you're gonna need your big screw. Phillips, your wing, your plane. So two leads are already installed. Plug your ailerons in, seat it in there, screw it down, done. 
So I got the wing on, got the screw installed, put the landing gear on, there's a little screw. There's two different kinds of screws. It's the one with the shorter with the bigger head on them to kind of hold the landing gear on. You can see there's a screw holding it in place. So you just take that screw out and then these pop out. So you put the screw in, they're installed. So there we've got that. I did take the top hatch off, forgot to do that earlier. Here you're going to have your battery connection. It's going to be your little red JST. And then everything else here is labeled very well. And then your function mode for the stabilizer. So, yeah, so she can sit on her wheels now. What an awesome looking plane. Okay, we'll move on to the next step. So you're going to take, after you work your hinges and get everything working good and free, you're going to take your rudder, push the tabs in through, whoop, push it in through there, get that baby seated down. So you got your kind of your little assembly here, then that's going to fit into the back of your airplane. Like so, everything kind of slots in there. Boom. So you do that, and right on the side here, down here, you'll see there's a couple screw holes. So you'll use the longer screws, two of those babies, and go in and secure the tail. Then after that, you'll hook up your linkages. I'm going to leave these off until I get a receiver plugged in, and then I know kind of where everything's got to go, because if you got to adjust them, you know, it's not worth hooking them up now. We're going to have to take them loose again anyways. But I'm going to put those two screws in, and then the tail will be done. All right, there's that. We have what looks like an airplane. So the scale parts, you've got an antenna that's going to glue in here. Then you've got a few different types of, of the little gun pieces here. They're going to go in the wings here and here. So we get out the foam safe CA and glue them babies in there. Got those all glued on. See the antenna, you can see how little guns go. So there's shorter ones and longer ones. The longer ones will be inboard and the shorter ones will be outboard. So there you go. So that's it. So now I'm going to get my receiver, get it in there and get this thing bound up and get the servos all set up. And yeah, then we'll check the CG and we'll be ready to fly. All right, here we go. So Got some batteries charged up here. I've got the receiver in there. Um, this is where I've got the battery and it seems to balance decent there. On the bottom here I've got my CG marks, but uh, I balanced it upside down on the um, cruising CG stand here. But everything is hooked up and going. I'm just doing the final touches in the IX-12 for some setup for uh, like throws and that sort of thing. But we're going to be ready to mate. And so one thing I had to do is there was little ribs on each of those of foam. I had to whip out my knife here and cut them off to make them clear some wires and stuff so it would go on easier. So um, you might not have to, but um, I had to. But um, you can see the battery just fits in there. So you got to have pretty much this battery is what you got to get. So I'll have a link down below in the description. But that's the one to get right there, because um, not much else is going to fit in there. So, yeah, other than that, GB's probably about on his way to the flying field. So we're going to go see if this baby will fly, and we'll be back with some video.